Hi guys, Joseph here today. We're doing another Joseph car video, and today I'll be doing my very first car review on this channel. And this is a review of the new Peugeot 2008 SUV all electric. This was a big thanks to Robinson Day Peugeot in Croydon. Yeah, per Robinson Day Croydon actually let me review this car. So a big thanks to them. So let's get down to the car right now. Right guys, here's the all new Peugeot 2008 SUV. And this is the engine bay of your 2008 SUV. By the way guys, this takes dot for brake fluid. <laughs> Here's the radiator to cool the batteries down because this is an electric car, guys. This is weird. The brake servo is on the left. Normally, the brake servo and the brake fluid reservoir is above the brake pedal, which is on the, it's on the... That's strange. Never seen that before. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. And this is this is different to a petrol car, guys. Because obviously here is my 2002 Volvo V70 right there. Yeah. Which, this one obviously has an engine. So, here's the headlights. And obviously behind is some... Somewhere you service the bulbs on this. God knows. There's a connector to the headlights. <laughs> If you look under there, there's some batteries under this cover, which seems really loose. I won't interfere with it too much. So that's some radiator fluid. I've not really learnt much of electric cars, but it looks like there's lots to go wrong, guys. There's more wires. Obviously, I think that's the battery right there. Yeah. I'll show you the interior, and this is how you release the bonnet. It's right here. Here's the bonnet support which clips into here and here's where you release it it's right here and the bonnet release on this car is over here on the passenger side right here it's the all new one and also it's got some cool leds in the doors some stitching the green stitching this one's got here's the interior here's the bonnet release right here that's all works manually for the there's the airbag on and off switch right there now we'll, we'll show you the interior of this thing so I'm going to pause and show you the in so I'm going to show you a little more under here first before we get in the interior here's a nice grill design and also guys here's the baseline numbers of the all new Peugeot 2008 all electric it does a 0 to 60 in 8.5 seconds. That's with just one person in it. Well, I measured the 0 to 60 with three persons, three people in it. And I got 11.4 seconds, not the 60 out of this. That's what I got out of this. I don't know whether you can hear, but there is, I can hear a fan going under here. So if you just look at it, lots of wires. This don't take any petrol, by the way. Apparently, I don't know where you charge this thing. Let's have a look here where you charge it. This is the rear of the car. So here you go. Here's where you charge it. Because don't think you open it. Here you go. That's where you charge it. It says instructions here, and I guess you plug it in there. I'm not going to touch there because. Electric cars have a lot higher voltage than a, a normal car. Like, a, a petrol car only requires 12 volts. An, an electric end, just an electric motors and that, they run on a lot higher volts. And you got to be trained, and you really have to know what you're doing working with electric cars, guys, because you can kill yourself if you don't know what you're doing. So... Here's where you fill up your windscreen washer fluid. In here. There you go, it's down there. That's that. 
and there's loads and loads of modules. I'm not going to interfere with this. Here's your positive battery terminal, and your, obviously, I think your negative's hidden, right hidden away. This looks very difficult if you had to do some work on this car yourself. It'd be very complicating. So, I think it's about time we get on the interior, so I'm going to pause here. Right, guys, and here's a trick when closing the bonnet. Here you go. Obviously, you release it there. So, obviously, now I've put the bonnet stay down. And if I let go, it's not going to... You don't start, like... It's not on any shock absorbers at all. So, right, you drop down. So just, this is a trick, guys. A lot of people let the bonnet slam. Here's a trick. You push in there with your fist. Here you go. That's how you do it without any damage. That's the way of causing less damage. That's the way you do it. You just cushion until he clicks. And also, I'm going to give you some more introduction of this car. Here's your LEDs here. I'm just going to show you the turn signals on this car. These are coal. I'm going to just switch on the turns, the hazard one. Because the turn signals, I think, are coal on this. Uh, so I think it's cool. Here's one that side, and obviously one on this side. And obviously the cool indicator design. Uh, this is nice and fancy. And obviously the same on the other side. This is the interior of the car. Introduction to the interior. Here's some introduction for you. Here's the indicator. As you can see, they're both ticking and you shut off. Yeah, guys. Here's got a automatic transmission. You 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 lift it back. I'm not going to put it in gear, but when you to go back in the park, you just press the P there. You control the volume right here. Now you can put it through its paces with a unique yeah, I'm not going to actually play any music in here because of the copyrights. You also can control the volume. And beyond. There you can... You can get... You can actually scroll through different displays. Personal 2. Dials. Here's something cool. I'll show you in a sec. That's my favourite mode. Actually, the number's actually just on a different on a different glass. The like, the number is actually extended out further than the rest. And I like this design right here. I'd, here's your indicators here. If you tap it once, look. There's a fast indication. It's actually very hot in here. I'll scroll through some drive modes right here. And what drive modes are? I don't need really do anything to me. There's your little storage. I have got a battery light on. Don't know what that's for. Don't know what other options there are. What other modes does it have? Driving. What driving does it have? That's, it's got some cool mode to it. And then the digital speed readouts. Navigation. Does it give you the... Location that you're at. Energy. It tells you the battery energy of the car. And obviously where you control it, whether you start the engine or it's here. 
you can turn it on and off here. And to start it, you press the press one. You press the brake pedal to start. Started it up. Sim park at the moment. It's actually got a braking mode, a B mode, which is braking. That's how it works. It's got all these awesome controls here. It actually looks a bit like a piano. I do like this actual design. I do like the panoramic, panoramic sunroof. It's got the in-car SOS system. That just calls the emergency services and that. It's all got something to do with the Persian. You can actually control it here. There you go. If you control that, you can... You can actually open up the room, which actually gives you a bit of a breeze. I know it's left mine down for the minute. You can actually got window controls and that down here. Yeah, that's how you control that. It's got awesome functions in this car. And also, I think you have the window locks for the rear. I think that's window locks for the rear. Check. Yep, it is. That's the window lock. If you press it again, you can deactivate it. See, it's a child lock as well. It does. So that controls your window lock and your child lock here. And if you deactivate it, you can actually now open it from the rear. And this thing has automatic child locks, which is another cool function. Is your sun visors here? It's got LEDs because obviously modern world LED lights for modern world. This is very quick. It's quite quick from zero to sixty. It's, it measures in the because this has no engine. On. It has a 101 kilowatts of engine power and a 50 kilowatt battery. It doesn't measure in horsepower because it has so no engine, it's all electric. SRE, SRC, which I guess is source radio control. I'm not going to interfere with any of that. You've got all the phone. You can change the station through here. Go through the list, you know, source and radio controls. You do, I think it's touch screen. Got a few settings, audio settings. So, where you're going to just dust its bass balance, you can actually balance these sounds. I'm going to pull. Yeah, you got your balance, sounds, and just touch tones, voice. Ringtones. Uh, say okay on that for now. Options, language, system settings. What's in that? You can change it to miles to kilometers. I guess if you change that to kilometers, yeah, it changes it to kilometers there. I want it in miles per hour because the country I'm in is miles. Per hour. You can change your language and. And that stuff like that. This has got a lot, a lot of features because this is obviously a modern car. I'm, I'm not used to old technology. I don't know. You really get that? Oh yeah. 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 I don't know why you get back now. Yeah, this is a lot of function. It's also got, it's equipped with heated seats. It's got free heat settings. It's got all US different USBs. Yeah, it's, it's also you can get your headlight controls. You got auto, and you can obviously control it to main beam. 
Yeah. With, with auto, it, it, it changes between daylights and night time. I'm going to put it back into automatic. Yeah. yeah. And this one is obviously your wiper controls. I'm going to... Got automatic one touch up, just auto up, another touch down, auto down. Also, it's got automatic, it's got automatic front windows up, auto down, and auto up. I don't know how many cars you get to get rear. Do you think if you do one tap, auto closing sunroom, and you get auto returning? You can do it manual or you can do it. Yeah, so there's your sunroof controls. I don't know what this is. <laughs> this is cool. If you tap there, It's got a lot. <laughs> yeah. This is a lot of functions. It's got nice power steering. I won't turn the wheels, you can obviously damage these steering joints. Yeah, by turning the steering wheel, you can actually cause damage to the steering joints. I don't know where you knew that. Yeah, just letting you know that hint of stuff I know. You got your lock here, lock, and lock and unlock there. You got your demisters and that there. God knows where you can you control your fog lights. Have automatic. You can actually have automatic right and left just adjusted in. You can adjust the left and flick over to adjust the right. I'm gonna leave mine in the centre for now. I'm quite impressed with this. I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to shut the car off while I do this. I'm show you how to turn the airbag off. So I'm going to pause here. Right, guys, this is the front passenger here. Here you go. Obviously, I'm just going to say this is imitation leather. This isn't real leather, by the way. Here's the leather, guys. Just so you know, this looks like leather, but actually, guys, this is not real leather. This is imitation leather, which it looks like leather, but it actually isn't. I must thought I'd put that one out for you, guys. Here you go. You pop the... Is your emergency key. And you're wondering, guys, think, why do you have an emergency? Well, listen, guys. Listen to me here. This is in case... Your battery goes dead and you need to get in the car. They supply you this. I'm gonna put that in the center for a minute. And this is how the emergency key works. Because in the doors, you have keyholes, don't you? Well, that's in an emergency. You just slot that in. I'm not, and you'd obviously turn it to unlock it. I'm not going to, though. I don't want to set the alarm off either. Here, guys, you have the airbag switch here, and if you put the key in, to do it, turn there, pull out. That's turned it off now, as you can see. Pass airbag, passenger airbag off. Now, the only reason you'll turn it off, guys, I'll explain to you guys, why can you turn it off? It's in case you put a baby in the front, that's the only reason you'll turn the airbag off. And obviously to turn it back on, you just slot the key in to turn it back to on. I'm going to leave it on for now. And I'll obviously quickly start it just so we don't get a flat battery. So I'm going to pause here. And after you finish the key, you'll obviously slot it back in. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm gonna pull. Yeah, guys. There's a lot of features on this car. There you'll obviously control with your parking brake there. I think as you push down to shut off, lift up to turn on. I think that's the way it works. Yeah. You have um, I'm gonna shut my sunroof now. There you go. There you shut your panoramic sunroof. I guess this is how you wash as well. There you go. Pull out to spray your windscreen washer. <laughs> That's how it works. There's a lot of features. <laughs> this is incredible. Where's your outside temperature on this car? Where is it? And then you just hit on SRC and you go to the radio. Now, where do you change the station? You're going to listen, there was an AR London. Yeah, I'm not going to turn it on though. So now. Audio settings, okay. Options, system settings. Celsius, there you go. At the bottom, you have an option between Celsius or Fahrenheit. Obviously, you'll just click there to hit on Fahrenheit. I'm going to put it back into Celsius and you'll just hit OK and you're finished. This offers a lot. There you go, there's your temperature up there. And if I was to just change it to Fahrenheit for you, Fahrenheit. 79 in Fahrenheit, say 79F. If you hit there, Celsius, when you hit OK, that'll change to Fahrenheit 26. That's how you do that. And I'm gonna tell you everything about this car. What does it do? And time and date. Yeah. When you hit, say OK. I don't know if that lets you go to 12 out of 24, don't look like it lets you. Instrument panel. You can actually cause all we call adjustments, you can change loads of things on this. If you really want to play with that, you can. You can change settings of the profile. This is this is my real honest review. And I like these green LEDs, I wonder if you can change that. System settings. No. I don't think it actually lets you change the theme or anything. I won't interfere. So, yeah. Got 136 miles of range on this. I've not made. Uh, this is actually my first car review. So there's your language. I wanted to leave that in English. I'm leaving that alone. There you go. Yeah. Look, you can change all the formats there. Time. That is your time. Ah, oh, 24 or 12 hour. Does it do 12 hour? And if, if I set that at 12 hour and you hit OK, now that would be in 12 hour clock now. I mean, if you go and check into that time, I want that. You can actually do daylight saving or anything. There you go. That's how this thing really works. Never found so much in a car. I'm actually a bit speechless, what I'm saying. 
One of these LEDs can be changed to green. So I'm in check. Instrument panel personalization. Yeah. Never had a real look in a car. You can actually make phone calls with this, but I haven't got that part of it set up. The sound system on this car is good. It's a good sound car. Sound system. There's no engine in this car because this is electric, as you know. So, right. I better show you more around this car. So, I'm going to pull. Right, guys. Now we're going to give you the boot of this car. Is that manual or electric? I don't know if that's... Ah, here they do. They give you the charging cable. Here. Here's, here's your, obviously, you don't know what's in that. Nice and that. That's obviously your charger cable. What's this? That goes in there. And that's what's in it. Comes with it. Stand there. Oh, just a bit stand there. There you go. There's obviously your little cargo cover. I assume it comes out. I assume it comes out. Don't know how it comes out. If you really wanted to know, if I didn't fit it yourself. There's a few little bits here. So what you do obviously when you're finished, you just close. It's got strong boot shocks. So, I don't know how you fold these seats. God knows how you fold them. This is the rear seat. I'm five foot ten and don't know how well I can sit back here. For a five foot ten guy to sit back here, oh, I fit it kill right. Well, I'm five. So oh, here's the corner, your grab handle. Very small coat hook though. <laughs> Don't know how well this is, but look, here you go. Here's you can tell. I could sit behind myself comfortably. Yeah, it's quite comfortable back here. But the only thing I'd have to do is. The other way as well is that you have the adjustable head restraints, guys. Don't lift that. Could be in its first click decision. Oh, yeah, that's comfortable now. Comfortable back here. Yeah. So there's the other side. Obviously, the green and the D's will be go through here. Now we're going to show you to now is how to fold these seats. I haven't tried this, so I don't actually exactly know. To fold forward, pull forward, then it comes forward. To push back, hold that slightly back. What you do, you push back on that. What you do, you kind of get it back a bit. You do push back a bit. You do push on that and push back fast. And push it back quick and the same on the other side. Don't know how you get the seat bases up. Don't know how you come up or not. Don't want to break the car. So that's the initial show round of the car. Right, here's the details. If you want to test drive this, this this car is from Robinson Day, Peugeot. That's where this car comes from. Comes from Robinson Day. And there's the details. If you want to test drive, I'll give you the details. You, you test drive today, Robinson Day, Robinson Day, Peugeot. And I think you call 020 8668 5435. 
yeah, www.robinsonday.co.uk slash Croydon. That's where this car come from, Robinson Day Croydon. So that's the details, Croydon, robinsonday.co.uk slash Croydon. The new Peugeot 2008, all electric. This is a demonstrator's car. You're not going to have all this writing on it if you get one. All you'll have is the Robinson Day at the bottom of the number plate. That's all you'll get. Robinson Day Croydon CR2 6EU. That's where it's located. Yeah, so it's a 2008 electric. So. That's a, an initial view of the front. This has got loads of sensors, loads of parking sensors. It's got slot side, slot parking sensor at the side. It's got loads of them. So you really can see it around. It's got, got a reverse camera, I'll show you it. I'll show you the reverse camera. There it is right there, so the reverse camera is. See so, ya. Yeah. That's it. Here's the old shape 2008 right here. The old shape Peugeot 2008. That's the old one. Old style. That's the older shape. This is the new shape, the electric. I don't know when this is exactly. I think this car was released in... 2019 that's when this car was probably released yeah so yeah and the wheel size i'm gonna give you the wheel size here this is i'm gonna get the size for you oh. 215 215 55 r18s so these are 18 inch alloy wheels yeah, I think that, I think these are high profile tyres. Not sure. I don't know if they're low or high. I just did a comparison. Yeah, these are high profile tyres. That's what these cars are equipped with. With uh, disc brakes in the rear and the as you can see the, the discs in the rear. So that's the initial brake size so yeah overall this is a good car yeah so I'm gonna pause here and that's the initial review over so I'm gonna pause right guys we're gonna end off this video to buy a Peugeot 2008 all electric it's 35,190 pounds and Robinson Day Croydon was very kind to actually let me review a Peugeot 2008 electric. Robinson Day Croydon was very kind to let me review the car. Yeah. The sales manager there is very kind. Yeah. Up there. Yeah. The sales manager that manages all the new cars up there. He's a very nice guy. Yeah, very polite. But we're gonna. Also, guys, nearly forgot. To control the Peugeot 2000 and some other Peugeots as well, there's an app that you can use to control your Peugeot 2008 all electric. It can either be found on the iOS App Store or Google Play. In my case, I'm using the Google Play Store. You can probably see it up on the screen now, it's somewhere up there, guys. That's, that's where it is on the screen so to find it you search my Peugeot Peugeot and then you write app at the end with a space write my Peugeot with no space and yeah and don't and when you write Peugeot it's P-E-U-G-E-O-T not V-O-T V-E-O-T. 
my Peugeot app and then you hit enter and the app will be right at the top you just click on the app and you click on install and it'll be waiting for download I'm gonna pause until it starts downloading right guys now it started downloading I didn't need to pause it so quick and, and I'll speed up until this is finished downloading right guys it's now installing then you click on open now you get my Peugeot the best of Peugeot with your all day with you all the time click on accept help us improve the application by collecting your data through audience just click accept then the sign ups here obviously I can't do that because this Peugeot 2008 was was given to me just to review by Robinson Day Croydon yeah so it was only given to me just to review it that's all by so a big thanks to Robinson Day Croydon and you, down here you can click on modify to change the language on the app and you just select whatever language you wish down there no matter whether you're French English or whatever and then you can just scroll through these different locations simplified my maintenance enjoy service for the maintenance of your Peugeot screen driving features and benefits keep up to date and there's lots of benefits to the app so what you, what what's the advantage of the app you're probably asking guys well the advantage to having the Peugeot app is in the morning on a cold morning you can just go on your phone and put the heating on in the car you can heat it up and then once it's it's heated up you're getting it and it won't be really cold when you get in it and if and if it's really hot out you can put the air conditioning on yeah so it'd be nice and warm nice and cool I mean when you get in there and you won't you won't be boiling in there at all so another thing you can control this anywhere in the world like you could be placed in England and the car could be in Spain you can still control it no matter where it is in the world you can control it it, doesn't, it really doesn't matter the car could even be in Australia and you're in England you still can control it or you could be in Sweden it doesn't matter anywhere in the world it works off GPRS GPS and that's how you get the signal to be able to do this So, I hope this helps with the My Peugeot app. I hope this helps you about the My Peugeot app. And to buy one of these Peugeots, you can just go and visit Robinson Day Croydon. So, yeah, as I said, the sales manager there is a very nice guy. Yeah. He really is kind. Yeah. So I hope this helps. And if you enjoyed this review, please subscribe. And give this video a thumbs up. And have a nice day.